Welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Jocelyn Momenta. Teresa has a day off. Coming up, it's a whole new way of thinking and looking at handmade items. We'll meet the co-authors of Craft Activism and show you how crafters are using their hands and hearts to make a giant statement and change the world. And three best-selling authors, David Baldacci, John Grisham, and Jody Picot, were in town for the Mark My Words event, and I talked with each of them about one of America's most beloved authors, Mark Twain, as well as their latest works. And I'm here with Leon's Restaurant Executive Chef and owner, Eddie Veripapa, and John Lazic, the owner of BusBite.com. It's great to have you guys back with Good us. Good morning. Always a pleasure. Thank and, you. And uh, we are going to be cooking something really interesting today. Absolutely. We do some Lagostino Fra Diablo mm. over a little spaghetti. This looks almost not real. That's what everyone's saying. It's not real, but these are delicious. Wait till we make them today for All you. All right. Great. Hey, John, you've got some special deals coming up mm -hmm. you want to share with us. We do. Uh, November is National Diabetes Month, and we're looking forward to forward to some healthy alternatives for the month of November. So we're going to be talking about some really good deals, right? We are. All right, big so savings. Big savings. Big so everyone's got to listen up when we're... Stay when tuned. We, yep. Exactly. Stay tuned. All right, right now, let's tell everybody what they need to do. Guys, take a look at this camera over here. And you know your lines right over here? Sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. If you're between the ages of 40 and 85, call 1-800-248-9700 now to find out more about Funeral Advantage. The average funeral costs over $9,000, but the most government benefits will pay your family is only $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. Call now to learn how Funeral Advantage helps protect your loved ones. It pays up to $20,000 cash immediately for funeral and any other expenses. You must be age 40 to 85 to qualify. It's easy. No physical examination is necessary. And coverage starts as soon as you're accepted. To get free information about Funeral Advantage, call 1-800-248-9700 now. With Funeral Advantage, your rates will never increase. Your benefits will never decrease, and your plan cannot be canceled. You'll also get a free planning guide to help carry out your wishes, so everything is done just as you'd want them to be. Funeral Advantage pays up to $20,000 cash to your family when they need it most. To get free information about Funeral Advantage and its benefits, call 1-800-248-9700 now. There's no obligation. Call now. The handmade movement is back in a big way. Crafters all over the world are using their hands and hearts to make a statement, change the world, and build community. In their book, Craft Activism, co-authors Joan Trapper and Gail Zucker highlight people, ideas, and projects from what they call the new community of the homemade. Joan and Gail, thanks so much for joining us. We're happy to be here. Right, so how did this all come about? But we, our publishers asked us to do a book about craft activism, and we said, okay, well, what do you have in mind? They said, well, you tell us. And what we found were people doing all kinds of interesting, wonderful projects in a variety of kind of different media, different subjects, and, and different ways of, of trying to make a statement with their art. All right, you mentioned craft activism. Exactly what do you mean by that? Well, it's people who are making things for a reason. And we, in the book, we break it out into several different sort of groups of reasons. There's people who make things in order to recycle. There's people who make things to make a statement. There's people who make things to sort of bring back craft processes that were sort of relegated to being old-fashioned or fussy, and they've made them relevant again. And I've left out a category. There's people who, who use their craft to, for charity, yes. to, ra to raise awareness of a cause. Everything's handmade. Everything's, Everything's handmade. handmade. And of course, in the process, they do this to build community and to 
uh, connect with crafters who have a, a passions like theirs. And in the book, you share some of their tips so that the rest of us can learn from them as it's, well. It's all about doing it yourself. So we try to inspire people by the stories of the crafters. We give patterns and projects that you can make all the way from easy to more advanced. And lots of tips. I mean, things you can do. Here's where you can look for more resources. So the idea is to, to get everybody crafting. Well, you guys are co-authors of this book, yeah. but you yes. did the photography. Yes, I did. So how challenging was that for you? It, it, well, it was a lot of fun because the, you know, I got to meet with, go behind the scenes with all of the different artists and crafters and where they worked and how they worked in their different personalities. And, um, and then it had the component where we, we have, because we have a project inspired by each of the artists, we also showed the project and then we showed the project model. So we have a little fashion component going on also. Well, let's talk about that fashion component okay. because I'm wearing something. Yes. That and in fact, beautiful. It, which was shot uh, for the Take book here in New Haven. So, mm -hmm. Yes, tell me a little bit about, tell everybody what, what I'm wearing. That's the Ocelot scarf and it was designed by Ruth Marshall who is in our crafting for us to make a statement. And she's this amazing artist who knits the reproductions of specific pelts of endangered species to bring attention to the need for conservation. And this is the ocelot. That's and that's an ocelot. Now she adapted her artwork, which is really the full pelt of an animal, and she researches, she's done research at the Museum of Natural History and at the Peabody Museum here in New Haven, and she adapted it into a single strip of ocelot to make the scarf. Very good. Now let's take a look at some of the pictures that you have also sh brought on. Great. with you to share with everybody else. What is this? This is a knit bomb. This is knit bombing? Do you know about knit bombing? Knit bombing is putting knit or crocheted tags on trees and light posts. And there's a couple of women in Yellow Springs, Ohio, who basically have knit bombed their entire town, including the, one of these red trees. They, they, there's uh, knit bombs on light posts and benches, and um, they don't do it in the cover of darkness. And very creative. Let's take a look at the next picture. These are blankets by Crispina French, and she's in our um, recycle, renew sort of crafting. And she takes recycled sweaters and, uh, well, sw old sweaters, discarded sweaters, and makes these beautiful blankets out of them. And she's up in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. You also brought some items in. Let's take a look at what you brought here and at the table over there. Let's go through some of them. And these are knit bags? These are uh, granny square tote bags. And one of, one of the things we found is that people are resuscitating resuscitating old crafts like granny square crochets which we all remember from the 70s and putting them together to uh, cover a uh, like a grocery recycled grocery bag so you can uh, take it to the grocery store and do it with kind of a new sassy style we did two versions kind of the colorful one and the Really tasteful. <laughs> really quickly, yeah. let's go to the table because we have some models okay. we want to show. So wh what else do you have there? Is an apron? It's an apron with um, kind of sassy embroidery, hot stuff, just in case. All right. Mm -hmm. And the next item next to that? We have some um, mittens that were crafted for a charity, uh, uh, to raise money for uh, a charity uh, in Minneapolis. Very good. Let's bring in our, our, na our models. Okay, if you can step forward, and you, this is, who, should, who are we seeing here? This is Stacy Trock, and she's modeling the tongue-in-cheek skirt, which is um, made out of mall plastic bags. So, um, <laughs> yeah, mall plastic bags. Yeah. Virginia Fleck, an artist in Texas, works with plastic bags um, to make beautiful mandalas. And, and you said all she did was use transparent tape, is that yes. right? Tape together. And we have the pattern in the book, so you can make one for yourself. All you have to do is pick out which mall bags you want to yes, use. That's right. Absolutely. And this is the this artist, is artist herself. And her name again is? Virginia Flack, and she's Virginia. in Austin, Texas, and that's, that's her, her, her sort of fine art ex exhibit work. And our next model? This is Beth Rosenthal, and she's wearing a sun tea dress. And this is another um, work by Crispina French. And these are t-shirts. These are t-shirts. They're old t-shirts. Everybody has old t-shirts, and they are cut up and used as a pattern and put together by hand sewing. So you don't even need to use a sewing machine. It's very soft because, because I touched it. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. They're really comfortable. And we have a couple of them in the um, book, but you could really use any sewing pattern. It's the technique of taking old t-shirts and making them into fabric again you can learn more about what you need to do can you do it buy the book craft <laughs> activism you can get it anywhere right at this point of all course. the major bookstores and online excellent thank mm -hmm. you for joining us thank oh, you thanks. lots of great ideas here it was fun talking to you <laughs> you're welcome coming up next leon's restaurant and buzzbite.com team up in the kitchen we'll fill you in right after the break
In talking about uh, uh, preventing concussions, there are several things I think that are important for, uh, for parents and coaches to make sure that they monitor with their students and their players. Crucial information to help protect your child from head injuries, Friday at 1120 on News 8. Subaru takes you safely on adventures and brings you home memories. Buy a brand new all-wheel drive Subaru Outback for only $23,495. Ooh, it's love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my observation, you never get order and design coming about by chance. I don't care if it's a shirt. I don't care if it's a delicious meal. I don't care if it's an artwork. I don't care if it's a building or an automobile. It's up to sons, it's up to daughters, it's up to all of us. Stand up to cancer. Stand up, stand up, stand up to cancer. Stand up, stand up. 100% of your donations go to collaborative cancer research. Go to standuptocancer.org and give. Who's got your back? News 8. Send your story ideas to report it at WTNH.com. Leon's Restaurant and BuzzBuy.com are at it again. They're teaming up for some great deals. Joining me now is Executive Chef Eddie Barry Papa and John Lazic, the owner of BuzzBuy.com. It's great to have you guys back with us. Thank you. Before we get to BuzzBuy.com, let's talk about what you're making here, Eddie. Great. Making uh, lagostino. It's one of your favorite. Any it is. shellfish, anything <laughs> fish is all your favorite. Um, lagostino is one of my favorite as well. And what we're doing, it's a very, very simple dish, very fast to cook. I take the lagostinos, we're just going to split them. Little garlic, little chili flake, parsley basil, extra virgin olive oil. And I'm using a tomato passada, which is a tomato, the native uh, plum tomatoes. We pass them through a mill, and that's how we make our sauce. And of course, we're going to have that recipe on, online, online yeah. for everybody. That's and well. while you're putting it together, you already made the pasta. We're going to talk to John over here, right? What, what's BuzzBite.com? BuzzBite.com is a local marketing company that spotlights the best businesses in New Haven County. Um, you can save as much as 80% off our deals. Uh, one thing that's different about our site compared to other sites is the fact that you don't have to enter any credit card information with one click of the mouse. Uh, the deal is sent to your email. It's in your inbox. We're local. Um, there's no worry about this, this all the time factor. It's, we save you time. We get you the deal. We take out the middleman. And uh, you can go right to the, directly to the place of business. It's really direct. It's very direct. Very simple. The customer. There's no obligation on the uh, customer's side of things. And now you guys have a deal together. It's a very special we thing do. that you're working. Uh, we, we currently have a happy hour deal with Eddie. Uh, at Leon's, and Eddie, if you want to go into more detail quick. What we started was in a paratifo. It's something yes. that's very special in the northern section of Italy. And what it is, it's an opportunity, it's like a happy hour here. It's an opportunity for you to come down, visit our lounge area between the hours of 4.30 and 6.30, and get some small samplings of different things we do. Besides getting drink specials, you're able to try to sample some of our food at a reasonable price as well. All right, that's so great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, looking very forward nice. to that. And how's, how's your cooking doing? Fantastic. Is We're doing great. On Absolutely. Point? Everything's on point. We're looking good. Okay, what did you do with the... <clears throat> what I did was I take the lagostino and I just split them. Season with a little bit of salt and pepper. I like to use this sea salt. Obviously, they're coming from the sea. And I take the spigotine and I cooked it separate. And once it's all done, and we're basically set, we're going to go to a plate. That's it. And I'll show you, I'll show you what it's all... I'll show you uh, what the finished product looks like. Good, and while you're doing that, John, you've got some specials we want to talk about. We do. We have a lot of specials. And with November being National Diabetes Month, we wanted to show our healthy alternatives for our deals for this month. Our current de our deal coming up in November will be Health Tracks uh, Fitness and Wellness in North Haven. I'll be sure to check on that. It doesn't be a very good deal. Um, another upcoming deal during the course of November will be Third Power Fitness for Life, uh, specializing in personal training, circuit training, uh, and boot camp classes. So if somebody really wants to get, get into shape. This is a this good, is a good time to good take time advantage of a great, exactly. heavy savings. All right, and Eddie, take a look. What are you this doing here? This looks lot. beautiful. It's a full oh, meal. Yes, it is a full meal. And you got to be really careful though, because you don't want to overcook this. No, especially the pasta. You don't want to cook it. You know, like they say, you want to keep the pasta al dente, which yes. basically of the tooth. Oh yes. All right. And, and since we're doing, uh, you like a little spice also, I so do. I like to finish off. I always like to finish off with just a little bit of chili flake. And a little bit of parsley. Now, is this on the menu? This is on the menu. It's on the goodie list. And this is just an extra virgin olive oil. We actually bring this in ourselves. I just lace it with a little bit of extra virgin over the top. 
and right away you could smell the extra virgin. Is this your recipe? It's a family recipe. Family yeah, recipe. Yeah, well, family it's great you're sharing your family recipe Absolutely. with us. Absolutely. And then we're going to share it together in a moment. Uh, yes, we are. John, you've got a couple more specials we want to talk about. We do. Uh, another upcoming deal for the month of uh, November and so forth is uh, Great White Cleaning in Wallingford. Uh, offering savings of 50% off wow. their cleaning and maid service, so a great deal to take advantage. It is because, we, as we all know, dry cleaning can be costly. Very expensive. All yep. right, next is Brazies. Brazies, well-known Brazies on in New Haven. Uh, we're looking forward to their upcoming deal as well. So we're showing a great uh, selection of deals within the next month. So we just need to check out the website, we buzzbuy.com. And our last one. And lastly, for those looking for, it's the holidays are coming up and they're around the corner. So oh, for yes. those looking for great gifts, uh, Branford Hobbies is the place to go. Uh, the owner will point you in the right direction. So if you're looking for any gifts or so forth, you'd be uh, surprised at the amount of selection he has for uh, gifts for for your loved ones. So y your business is expanding, you're getting more and more businesses. Very much businesses so. There's been, a lot of, there's been a lot of demand for, obviously in this, in this economy, for huge savings. Uh, we offer the best deals and uh, with premium clients and businesses in the local area, so there's been a lot of demand. Of course, for more information, all you have to do is go to buzzbite.com and check out also Leon's Restaurant in New Haven and Big uh, event coming up for you. Big event coming up. Tuesday, November 1st, uh, we teamed up with Glenn Levitt and Chevis Regal. We're going to do a six-course scotch tasting paired with all the, uh, all the food. Wow. You had a chance to get a little <laughs> glimpse of the menu. Uh, six courses. It's going to be really, really unique. It's um, something that you should take advantage yeah, of. You should really check out this menu. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and we'll thank see you. you next time. Thank Always you. a pleasure. Always a gonna pleasure. Going to get ready to eat? Oh, yeah. We're going to eat this Absolutely. at the end of the show? Okay, Absolutely. great. Coming up next, I sat down with three award-winning authors, David Baldacci, John Grisham, and Jody Picot. Hear what they have to say when Connecticut Style returns. Send your story ideas to report it at WTNH.com. In talking about uh, uh, preventing concussions, there are several things I think that are important for, uh, for parents and coaches to make sure that they monitor with their students and their players. Crucial information to help protect your child from head injuries, Friday at 1120 on News 8. Elisa in Colchester. Wow. Hey, Teresa and Shelton, you should go pro. Hey, Jerry and Milford, Terry in West Haven, and Everett in New Haven, we love what you do. Thanks, and keep sending us your picks through Report It. When you're well cared for, you can keep doing the things you love, which is why WellCare Medicare Advantage plans give you extra Medicare benefits at no extra cost. I am well cared for. In fact, call now to see how you can start being well cared for with a free $10 Walgreens wellness card. Our plans give you great things like no monthly premium, no or low co-pays to see your doctor, no cost generic drugs, and even brand name coverage. Plus, you'll enjoy extra dental, vision, and hearing benefits, and even free gym memberships, rides to your doctor, and over-the-counter medicines every month. That's a lot more benefits than regular Medicare with no monthly premium. I am well cared for. Call the number on your screen right now to see how you can get a free $10 Walgreens wellness card just for having an appointment with us. Are you well cared for? You can be. Let's talk. best-selling authors on one stage, David Baldacci, John Grisham, and Jody Picot in Connecticut for a Mark Twain House benefit. And I caught up with all three before the big event. I started the conversation by asking them about their impression of one of America's beloved authors, Mark Twain. I think he's the, probably the literal American iconic writer. When you think of American literature, you think of a guy like Mark Twain, who even the greatest writers we've had, Hemingway and Faulkner, have all paid tribute to him. So he is sort of the American writer. Jody, do you admire him much? Yeah, because he, he really is someone who combined social commentary with commercial appeal. And, um, you know, when I think about the things that I try to write, I think it's very much in the same tradition. Do you have a favorite 
book that he wrote? You know, everyone always says it's, you know, one Huck Finn or something. I That's not my favorite. My favorite it's is, not. no, it's a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. And oh, gosh. I don't, I don't know why that's my favorite. Probably because it was the first one I read. But um, I just love the satire in it and the fact that you can poke fun at society in a way that if you, you try to do it in a serious way, no one is ever going to want to read at, at that moment. Um, you know, he was master of that. And I know you discussed this with me before. Was it Huckleberry Finn or t Tom? Sawyer? Well, both of those are great, but it was <laughs> ironic that Jody said Connecticut Yankee because Hank Morgan, who is a protagonist in Connecticut Yankee, is sort of my favorite character. I love Huckleberry Finn, don't get me wrong, and Tom Sawyer are great, and the twins and all that are right. terrific too, but Hank Morgan, it was, it was probably one of the greatest pieces of satire in American literature, and I think people saw it, a lot of people saw it more as an adventure story, but let me tell you, people should read that book today because mm -hmm. it has a lot, it resonates well with what's going on in the world today. I caught up with John Grisham later in the day when he joined his friends on stage. When you read Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn, uh, for me it had a profound impact on my life as a kid and as a reader. It wasn't all good. Uh, in fact, I had a Tom Sawyer club when I was like 10 years old. And we were doing things like, you know, sneaking out of the house at night, playing hooky from school. I was always afraid to run away from home like Tom and Huck because I was afraid of my father. And I had a real, real uh, close-knit family. But we got into some trouble, and at one point, um, when the police were involved, they suggested that we disband the Tom Sawyer Club, and so we did, and that was the end of my Tom Sawyer business. Back to Baldacci and Picot, the conversation turns to their latest works. Both of you came out with several books this this year. We're machines. Yeah, okay? you are. It's amazing <laughs> to me. You're constantly <laughs> writing. <laughs> All right, last time we spoke, you were writing something at, on the train on the way up here. Yes. And what happened to that book? Yeah, that book is called Zero Day. It's coming out at the end of the month. It's a new thriller with a new, brand new character, a guy who's in the United States Army. New subject matter for me, but and like Jody, I'm off to the next one now. So it's just uh, this is how the sausage gets made, you know. Jody, you have come. I out. have a, a new paperback which just came out called Sing You Home. My new hardcover Lone Wolf will come out um, in March, and uh, also this year actually is a, a new thing for me. I have a book that was co-written with my daughter who is 16 years old, and um, it's a, a YA tween novel that will come out at the end of June. You're both uh, actually writing differently these days. I mean, mm -hmm. you tried to anyway. Uh, David, you came out with One, one Summer, summer yep. and that was a totally different book from what you normally write. Yeah, it's a softer side of me, right? <laughs> um, it was just, I, I think the more books you write, the more books you, you just want to stretch as a writer. So I've written a lot of thrillers, and I've written a few books that were not thrillers, and I think it's refreshing for me to step outside of a genre and try to do something else new. It recharges my batteries. And I think a writer is a writer. Don't put them into a genre box. Let them write what they want to write, and uh, that's what I try to do. And Jody, your, your books tend to be, I think anyway, emotionally intense. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's a very good, it, absolutely, because you really feel it mm -hmm. when you're writing. You, you write a lot about relationships. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, it, it's the, I agree 100% with David. I think if I were going to do the same thing over and over, writing would be very boring for me. So I need to challenge myself every time. And sometimes that means writing in a genre that's different. Sometimes it means writing in a voice that's different or about a topic that's very different. Legal thrillers are Grisham's forte, but he too has penned outside the box. Most recently, young adult novels. My daughter started teaching school. She teaches fifth graders three years ago and she told me that, she, that, that the kids reading there's a kids get a lot of uh, fantasy mm -hmm. a lot of uh, historical fiction uh, but she was having trouble finding good suspense for kids and so she asked me she said uh, can you write suspense for kids and I said well I'll try and that was the first Theodore Boone book and now there have been two and I'm on the third one now and and the series has really taken off and been a whole lot of fun and the inspiration for the written word can come from anywhere. I write in airport lounges, I write in hotel rooms, I write at We're writing kids. right now, actually. Yeah, right right now in our heads. Already really in your head, yeah. you're writing yeah. something. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, right. I take my laptop with me to my kids' sporting events. I've done that all the time. You know, you write wherever you have to because you carry your office between your ears. Are you just inspired by people you meet? How does that work? No, I, I mean, like, for me, driving's a big one. Um, sometimes when I'm driving, I just think, oh, my gosh, that's what has to happen in that chapter. So I take out a pen and I write it on my hand. 
and because I lose post-it notes, but I don't <laughs> lose my hand. I used to write on my kids because I didn't lose them either, but they don't let me do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So you really—it's whatever pops in your mind. You just write it down. Yeah, it's yeah. not a, it's not a nine-to-five job. Yeah. I think writing is just life experience. You could walk around a corner and see somebody talking to somebody, and an idea just sprouts from that. Mm -hmm. That's why I think we both like to travel, and you know, and, and not so much seeing the world at 35,000 feet from a plane, but actually driving or taking a train or walking and, and seeing things because I've, I've come up with ideas in the, in the most unlikely places. I read the newspapers. I mean, seriously, the headlines from today, uh, there are two or three cases every day uh, getting a lot of play on, uh, in, in the media, whether it's newspapers, magazines, television. Um, I watch trials, not in the courtroom, but keep up with them. Litigation, trends, uh, law firms, lawyers, what are they doing? And that's my world. That's, where I, that's what I enjoy. For me, it's not research. It's just pure fun. And so you take a good story. I, I, I'll, I'll find a good story. Writers are thieves. We steal everything. And I'll take an idea, and I'll grind it through probably a hyperactive imagination with a, with a goal of creating a... Uh, a plot, a really compelling plot. For Grisham, the creative side flows as soon as there is a publication date. It's never a surprise, and I, I know the date for next year, okay, 2012. Um, and I work backwards. Uh, so this year, 2011, I knew the date was October the 25th. So January the 1st, I have to start writing. Every day, every day, five or six days a week. Uh, several hours early every morning, uh, no down days, no writer's block, no, but I have a very clear outline of what I'm writing, I know where I'm going. John Grisham's newest book is The Litigators, just released this week, and next week check out Zero Day, the latest book written by David Baldacci. Also look for Jody Picot's Sing You Home, now out in paperback. There's more Connecticut style right after this. The next generation Da Vinci SI robot assisted technology is now at Middlesex Hospital. We're in the hands of our skilled surgeons. It's taking minimally invasive surgery further than ever before, including a treatment for lung cancer and a revolutionary procedure for sleep apnea. Best of all, it's putting patients at ease with less scarring, less pain, and less time away from the activities they love. Middlesex Hospital, technology with a human touch. Choosing a facial tissue may seem simple, but not all tissues are the same. This is Scotty's, and these are our softest tissues ever. And our softness, well, it's just the beginning. When you choose Scotty's, we'll plant three trees for every one we use to help make tomorrow a little better. That's our promise to give you softness you can feel and feel good about. Scotty's, like no other. Available at these fine retailers. Want safety and efficiency? Then go Chevy. Go farther with an EPA-estimated 32 MPG highway on Chevy Equinox. Go assured with Traverse, an IIHS top safety pick. So get safety and efficiency. Go Chevy. Well-qualified lessees can lease a 2012 Equinox LS for $259 a month. Call for details. Or well-qualified lessees can lease a 2012 Traverse LS for $279 a month. Call for details. Visit ctchevy.com. People in Brantford are fed up because a drainage problem on their road keeps flooding their yards and they say the town is to blame. We saw the water pooling up in front of the stairs coming into the house and we're like, it's the street water that's coming in. Took my grass out and went down and I had a, like a swamp in the bottom of my yard. You know we're staying on this story, working to get them results. They'll continue to follow up with the town and so will News 8. Who's got your back? News 8. Send your story ideas to report it at WTNH.com. Before we start eating, we want to thank all of our guests today, David Baldacci, John Grisham, Jody Picot, Eddie Very Papa, of course, and John Lazic, and Gail Zucker, and Joan Tapper. Most of all, thank you all for watching. Well, now we're going to eat, right? Best we time. are. Yes, so exactly. looking forward to yes. this. Yes. Fabulous. All right. Everyone help yourself. Grab your plates. I can't wait to hear what you have to Thank say about you. this food. So and of fabulous. course, Gail has her camera with her because she's always the photographer. Exactly. Ready right. to take a picture? No, okay. <laughs> what? Eddie, I'm are you going to try? I'm okay, why don't you? Are you sure we'll have one? I'd rather have this big one, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take this one. <laughs> bon appetito. Oh, yes. Enjoy, everybody. This looks great. Perfect. <laughs>